This is the polymer heat matrix air preheater. The heat exchanger consists out of four sections. So the top section there is flue gas inlet. This section here is hot air outlet. This section here is cold air inlet. And this section here is flue gas outlet. Inside this heat exchanger, heat is being exchanged between hot flue gases entering via the top. They go inside the tubes, flow down, are collected here in the bottom, and then they leave via the flue gas outlet on the back of the exchanger. Cold combustion air is entering via this nozzle. It goes here in between the tubes, it flows upwards and collects the heat from the flue gases. You can see multiple bundles where the air is distributed around and is gathered from this nozzle again. These polymer bundles, they consist out of polymer tubes that are interconnected with female milk connectors to form a stable honeycomb structure for heat exchange. In the top of the heat exchanger, there is a cleaning system present to be able to clean the bundles during operation without opening the heat exchanger. In the bottom segment, the water and condensate are collected and separated from the flue gas. And in the bottom, you can see it here, there is a drain to remove the water from the flue gases. So we can use different materials for each segment of the heat exchanger. The flue gas, when it enters, is still hot and non-corrosive. Therefore, typically, the inlet is made of carbon steel. And the two air sections are also made of carbon steel because air is also non-corrosive. Only the bottom section where we have created the acids and are collecting them from the flue gas is typically made of a stainless steel. Uh, in this case, you see a heat exchanger where all parts are stainless steel, but we have flexibility to change the section and the material that we need. Mm -hmm.